So today I've got a, a very interesting day ahead of me. Uh, welcome to the channel. Um, I'm taking my GT3 RS down to um, a Carwell drag race, but also I'm testing out some Audis today. Um, I haven't actually ever driven an Audi before. Um, I haven't actually ever driven an Audi before. I haven't actually ever driven an Audi before. I haven't. <laughs> So, welcome to a cold Bista morning. I've just arrived in Bista. There's the GT3 RS looking um, quite sultry with the fog in the background. I do like how that's looking. Surrounded by two um, S, well, an S3 and an RS3. And then we've got Maserati, Quattroporte. We've got several cars here. My friend's uh, BMW M2. Today, we are driving um, Audi cars. Uh, around Bista and there's a massive selection of cars. I've actually never driven an Audi before to my knowledge I've driven an A1 I think sometime in the no, have I ever driven an Audi? We're at a place called Bista Heritage. It used to be a, a World War II airfield. So over here we have a Lamborghini, I mean RSQ8, uh, another RSQ8. We have an S8, which is a very, very, oh, S6. That shows I don't know much about, oh no, S8. That shows I don't know much about Audi. We have um, a 1 of 15 in the UK R8 GT. We have this RS7. I really like RS7s. Well, I used to. I have no knowledge on the newest one, so it's gonna be interesting to take it for a ride. RS6 GT, I think one of 30 in the UK, and then an RS6, uh, regular RS6 here. So you can slightly see the difference. The RS6 GT rides lowers on coilovers, whereas this one, I believe is on air suspension, different ride heights, um, different exhaust, different uh, tuning, but they're very, very, uh, They this one looks so, the RS6, when you see it by itself, it looks very mean, but next to that, it looks so uh, simple. and so like normal family car and um, we have an rs5 here and then an rs4 here on the electric side we have uh, the rs e-trons so uh, this one is the regular rs e-tron and then this one is the uh, gt i believe so i think it's s and gt again i don't know much about audi so i'm learning a lot today and i'll deliver the content i learned but this apparently is the most powerful um, audi that's ever been produced production audi with uh, 927 horsepower i think again i am just learning things for the first time today but yeah i'm interested to get them out on the road and take them for a drive so because I'm doing this car wow event later, I'm not sure if I'll be able to drive many cars today, but I thought the first car I'll drive should be uh, the RS6. I've never driven one. I've always liked them. You guys are always saying, get an RS6. So why not try the RS6 first of all today? Going around the car, we have this RS6 in this lovely burgundy color. It's got carbon fiber inserts. I'm speaking from the point of view of someone that's never driven an Audi RS6 before. You've got your um, assistant systems hidden behind those plastic pieces of trim. You've got these wonderfully large rims that I think will probably compromise the ride a bit. They're 22 inch and the rubber is quite thin. The car is um, a lot smaller looking than it actually is. There's something about the way it's designed. It seems and feels more like a small hatchback, at least when you see it next to cars like the A7 or RS7, I should say. Um, massive exhaust on the rear. And then you have the carbon fiber trim back there as well. There is tons of boot space in the RS6. So you can use it to carry your dog if you want or your, I don't know what else do people carry in the back of the car. Shopping, there's a lot. <laughs> I'm currently in the interior of the RS6. It's a very clean interior, very German interior. It's a very VW group interior, I should say. So everything from the twin screens, um, this uh, dash in front of me, exactly like my Urus, it's, um, it's basically just my Urus, but Remix inside. It even has the same 4.4 liter V8 engine. I believe it's a mild hybrid in this car. There's a lot of space back here. I think what you care about most is probably how it drives. So let's take it out. So I've just got back from taking um, the RS6 out for a drive. I'm pretty impressed. It's super, super comfortable. I think I'll take this over an M3 Touring. And I do love the M3 Touring. It's just the M3 Touring is if you want to be sportier. If I bought a wagon, I would want to get one because I would want to be comfortable. Speaking of comfortable, I'm going to quickly take out this um, S8 and see how it rides. But before I take it out, let me take you around it. So the 8 or S8 is supposed to be their version of like a BMW 7 Series, which is just a bit more sporty, a bit more performance. It's a very understated design language. It looks it's very 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 simple so it doesn't really stand out much but that's the whole point of it if I open the rear seats this is where the action is supposed to happen where you're supposed to be carrying around passengers it's got this wonderful tan interior a lot of carbon fiber just to let you know that it is the sporty version and a lot of space it has the same four liter um, engine that's in this RS7 and in the RS6 however in this car it's uh, slightly detuned to be more of a cruiser than a performance automobile but uh, yeah we'll take it on the road and uh, see how it drives just took the s8 for a drive and i was gonna be like oh here's a video of it driving and this and this it's um literally what you expect a limousine like that's it 
but it's very comfortable. However, I don't see why that car exists. So I'm in another car. I'm literally banging them out as fast as I can. This is the Audi RS e-tron GT Performance with 900 plus horsepower. It's Audi's most powerful production vehicle they have ever released. It's got the huge ceramic brakes letting you know how much power is under, I was going to say under the hood. It's electric and then we have a 105 kilowatt hour battery under the car. If we go around the design of the car, it's very Taycan-esque. Both cars share the same platform. I believe it's called the J1A platform. Although now Audi have updated this car, um, it now has uh, the ability to have forged carbon down there, forged carbon on the mirrors, just to let you know this is the powerful version of the car. The rear is pretty much the same from before, apart from now you have a redefined diffuser. If I open the door, you'll see the car raises itself up to allow you to get in easier. Um, when we get in, it's got the updated Audi interior. So gone is the second screen and we now have hard buttons, thank God. It's a very, very nice interior. I've driven this car for a little while so far. It's very comfortable when you're in comfort mode, but what I wanna show you is RS performance mode. So um, launch control. So here's a quick launch control in the 900 plus horsepower Audi R-Tron e-tron GT, uh, e-tron GT performance, I've, uh, I forgot the name. So um, foot on the brake, foot on the accelerator, launch program active, just watch the numbers increase. <laughs> I feel like I was moving faster than the speedo could respond. That was insane. I'm in an airfield, by the way, so that's why I can film and drive at the same time. It's not against the law. But yeah, this car is a very, very comfortable, very nice car to drive. Of all the cars I've driven today, this is probably the one I would want to drive the most. So the next car I'm driving today is this RS6 uh, GT. So this is a very limited edition car. There's only 50. 30 in the UK, there's 15 of that R8. 30 of this in the UK. Um, it's got a very um, rally inspired livery, very rally inspired setup. As you can see, the car is wider, it has white wheels, and then you get your traditional Audi exhaust on the rear with a redefined diffuser for this car. Um, I love how wide it is. It just looks a lot more aggressive, a lot more sporty, and there's still carbon around here. So the car has an increased performance, and it also has a, a new chassis setup, so it's on coilovers, so it's just a firmer ride that allows you better control. It if I hop on to the interior, you can see it's pretty much the same as the regular RS6 that I drove a moment ago. Apart from now, we have RS6 GT seats and no panoramic roof in order to keep the center of gravity low. So yeah, this is uh, pretty sick. I'm gonna take it out for a spin and let you know how I drive. So after driving the RS6 GT, this is definitely my hero car of the day. It's not necessarily the one I would want all the time. I still think the Audi RS e-tron GT is better, but the RS6 GT, um, it just provides you that element of something different, something fresh, something a bit more quirky and it's not afraid to be what it is. I love the wheels. This 22 inch wheel design just looks super, super retro, super aggressive as well. Um, the car is covered in PPF and I don't blame them because um, it's a rare car. We have carbon inside there. This is all active um, carbon on the rear sill of the car. And then we go back to the rear of the car, you get this wonderful exhaust note. It just sounds so nice. It drives well as well. The firm suspension, which I thought would be remarkably firm, like in my Urus Performante, isn't actually that bad. Um, it still provides you with a level of comfort that you can appreciate. If I go around to this side of the car, you can just see from whatever angle you look at this car, you just spot something different. Like for example, I didn't realize these were carbon until um, about 10 minutes of driving the car. It's just a, it's a well put together piece of machinery. Freeze. Sometimes when I'm driving, I don't have time to eat or when I'm working or especially when I'm making these videos. So what I do is um, I pop one of these bad boys. It's a Y food um, drinkable meal. It just means you can quickly consume this uh, when you don't have time or you uh, don't have food with you. I'm hungry a lot of the time, you see. This one I'm drinking is the Classic Choco. It has 34 grams of protein and uh, 26 different minerals and vitamins inside. So um, I'm gonna give it a taste and let you know how it is. I haven't tried this flavor yet. It says at the top, remember to shake well. Uh, so Classic Choco, I, I tried the banana and that was delicious, so. This is, this is, I think this is my new favorite. Do you know what this tastes like? It tastes like a cool, hot chocolate. Not only is it delicious, it's lactose-free, gluten-free, no added sugar, and um, tons of fiber. So um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy this and I thought I'll put you guys on it. So check it out, Y Food. Click the link below. I'm actually gonna try this um, fresh berry one next. I'm gonna keep this in the car, so anytime I'm hungry, I could just pop one of these bad boys. Uh, so um, no longer am I surrounded by Audis. 
now I'm surrounded by VW. So we have a VW bus there, and then we have this um, Pikes Peak VW uh, EV. So um, this car is gonna be fast. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is apparently what I am racing today. Uh, and also an Aventador SV. There's my GT3 RS. Um, so the car while drag races, which is where I am now, I forgot to say, um, they are always interesting and always bring a few surprises. This is going to be very fast, I feel. I feel, will it pop a wheelie? No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I hope not. If, something, if it does, something went wrong. <laughs> so about to race in the 3RS. Um, I'll try and get some footage for you guys, but you might have to wait until the car wow video is out. But uh, yes, this should be a pretty exciting one. The Audis were interesting. The one that I think was my favorite to drive throughout the day was the RS e-tron GT. It was comfortable and it had the performance. The RS6 was good. I really, really liked it. The RS6 GT was just the same thing, but with a firmer suspension. I couldn't really perceive this difference in speed. It looked nicer, but um, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I want car companies to start making exciting cars. The thing about Audi is the cars are good, but they're all quite, um, I don't want to say vanilla, but they're all quite like okay, mate, you can the start same. Saying things. Oh, they're, they're filming now. I'll be back. So uh, the race is done with the GT3 RS. It performed well considering it's not a drag race car. It was racing against the Beetle down there and um, it managed to uh, win something. So that's good. Uh, beautiful car. This is a nice shot. I might have to just take a picture right here. I'm not sure I'd want to start in, like start the race in front of either of these cars. So get ready for a great sounding uh, drag race. This is, just check this out. Sweet sound of freedom, that V10 freedom. <laughs> 